When you buy an apartment in Manhattan, you will have to go through some steps before you get the keys. And whether it's the condo or co-op, you will have to fill out the purchase application, also known as the board package. The reason is that condos and co-ops are controlled by board of directors, which is compromised by some of the building owners, and it's their job, among others, to approve or deny a candidate for purchase. I'm Dana Sapir with Compass Manhattan, and if you are wondering what is the board package and how to combine and submit a winning one, continue watching this. The purpose of the board package is to show the building board of director that you are a good candidate for purchasing an apartment in their condo or co-op. To do that, you will be asked to provide proof of finances, recommendation letters, and more. While condos also have purchase application, those tend to be easier to fill out. So today I wanna to focus mainly on the co-op applications, but know that if you're watching this video, and purchasing a condo unit you will be more than prepared. So let's dive into the different sections of the application. The package will open with a cover letter from the building management and contain instructions on how to fill out and submit the application. Make sure to read this through. Often, here you will learn what the fees associated with the submission are, whether you need to submit a physical copy or a digital one, and more. My pro tip is make sure to type every section of the application. The only handwritten item should be your signature. Next, you will have to fill and sign some of the buildings related paperwork. This will include the building house rules, declaration about window guards, bed bugs, lid based paint, and if the building was constructed before 1978, perhaps some more affidavits like smoke detector form, alarm sprinkler system, and more. This will be pretty straightforward and will, for the most part, require only your signature. Other forms, like the alteration agreement, may also require that you sign them in presence of another republic. You also have to fill out the purchase application, and here you give your personal information as well as, as that of the seller, including your attorney's information, the agent details, and you will also give information about the previous residence where you lived, uh, employment, bank accounts, and more. My pro tip is make sure to fill this form in entirely. Don't leave any blank space and write NA if anything doesn't apply to you. The next form you will encounter is the credit release and background check form. This is the only place in the entire application most of the times where you will leave your social security number and bank accounts number fully visible and you will be asked to pay the processing fee per applicant. Now let's break down one of the biggest pieces of the application, all of the reference letters. Number one is the personal references. Those are the letters recommendation from people who know you well and are not your family member. They will need to attest to your good character and need to be signed. A board may ask anything between two to four per applicant. Sometimes we can ask, uh, if possible, to have joint letter, reducing the amount to half. My pro tip, have your recommenders tell the board a little bit about you, who you are, what they love about you, what makes you stand out as a person and a potential tenant. Number two is the professional references. Those are letter recommendations, but from supervisor and colleagues. Anything between one to two to three letters is common, and those letters must be also signed and most of the time written on a company letterhead. My pro tip is best to use your current employer as a strong references, but previous employers and colleagues who can share a lot about your strengths and merits as an employee are great too. If you are self-employed or own your own business, a long-time customer or a colleague or someone in your team can also be a great letter. Lastly and most important, your financials. A board package is most likely to include Webney financial statement or other form of financial statement where you will declare all your assets, liabilities, projected expenses and income in great details. This is where many buyers can get not only surprised but a little bit annoyed from the lack of privacy and all the amounts you're declaring will need to be supported by documents to be accurate on the cent. The sooner you prepare to this deep dive into your private finances, the better. My pro tip Make sure you are submitting the latest statement. 
organize them in the same order as the revenue financial statement, highlighting your amount clearly and making it as easy to understand as possible. Ultimately, you want to show that your debt to income ratio, meaning how much your annual expense is under 25% out of your income. My overall tip is to build your package timeline based on your loan. Your paperwork from the bank should typically take three to four weeks to complete if you are financing. So plan to have the package ready in that time so the loan application is really the last thing you have to add it. Once your package is complete and looking tidy, you will submit it along the processing fees. A well-constructed and easy-to-read package will mean less chances for the management to return it with more questions or qualifications and will pave the way to a board interview. Okay, that is it. I know it's a lot, but the good news a professional real estate agent will know exactly how to put this package together, will guide you through it, and when it comes to my team, will fill out most of it for you. If you're ready to begin your home, your home purchasing journey, contact me today to find out what the Sapir team is all about. Until next time.